All right, so this is where the game messed up last time. Is when we got this done. So let's put the reel in here. We are battle. We are Groot. Oh my god, I'm so scared. You guys, I'm so scared. The end. The end. Dude, Bendy. I'm sorry. This is like Infinity War, man. Look at him. This is just like Infinity War. He's he's going away like We are Inc. This is amazing. Oh. Okay, so this is where what we didn't get to see last time. Because my game died right at the moment. That's cute. Look at that. Little Bendy. Alright. This is nice. We're just here in our house, right? I'm about to Henry. Henry! So soon! I didn't expect you for another hour yet. Something scary now is gonna happen. trying to impress me. But yeah. I know, I know. Bendy skip leg day. You have questions. Yes, I do have questions. You always do. This is gonna the scare you. The only me. important question is this. Is this. Who are we, Henry? Who are we? I thought I knew who I was. But the success starved me. That I wasn't Nothing capitalized, by the way. Lines on a page. In the end, we followed two different roads of our own making. Is this somehow Joey? You, a lovely family. Me, a lovely family. A crooked empire. A crooked empire. But my road burned. This is not your I house. Our creations become my life. The truth is, you were always so good at pushing, old friend. Pushing me to do the right thing. This is scary. You should have pushed a little harder. Henry, come visit the old workshop. There's something no. I need to show you. I don't want to. We didn't leave the studio. All right, Joey. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. To hell and back is the achievement I just unlocked. We never left. Welcome to the archives! Being in the English machine game and the developer cartoonist known as the Meatly experimented with bringing a 2D sketch into the 3D world after turning the idea into a horror game. Chapter 1 of the game was created in a little under a week. Wow, with the programmer friend Mike Mood and was released on February 10th. 2017, much to their surprise, it struck a chord with global indie gamers almost overnight. The Meatly and Mike Moo decided to drop all of their projects to work on Bendy and tell a most unique ink story. Uh, the entire game was completed a chapter at a time in a year and a half by a small but dedicated group of indie developers. Although the concept and story remained as originally intended, the game changed over development as characters and models were refined from their early thrown together versions. This archive is a peek behind the scenes at that process. Okay, so we get to play the archives, I guess, eh? Concept Bendy. This is the early version of Bendy ever modeled. So this is some stuff we could create in Scribble Knots, for example, you know, like Concept Bendy. Uh, of course, in the earliest concepts, Bendy was much smaller and cuter with a face that split open to reveal a terrifying mouth. Alpha Bendy. So yeah, we saw that, didn't we? This was the original game used design of the Ink Bendy from the earliest version of Chapter 1. It is jokingly referred to as Bird Poop with a Smile among the development team. That's hilarious. Dude, look at all that. That's awesome. That is amazing. It does look like Venom. Yeah, so there's Beta Bendy. This was Ink Bendy's form until the release of Chapter 4. At that time, the game received a major visual upgrade and the title character got a new model as well. So yeah, he was a little bit fatter than it looked like. So there he is, even skinnier. So Ink Bendy as we know him today. Although similar to the beta is an upgraded version was remodeled, enhanced with a higher polygon count, given new inky effects. So yeah, look at that. That's dope. This is like we're in a museum. Alright, so it's called Beast Bendy. That's what it's called. So Bendy's horrific final form in Chapter 5 pulled away the cartoon facade and revealed the demon from within. So yeah, he has got little tiny feet, but man... He skipped leg day, did not skip arm day, so there's the beta searcher. 
Uh, let's see. Henry had to defeat Bendy. Is that right, Dylan? Ward, I already said uh, you can't request stuff here. To It won't do anything. Um, early in development with just a few weeks to create Chapter 2, the Beta Searchers were designed in record time before being fully retooled later on. They were the first fighting enemies encountered in the game. So there's the Final Searcher. Final Searchers were far more robust in appearance. They were smoother with better ink effects and more human appearance. Beta Sammy. With his first appearance in Chapter 2, fan favorite Sammy Lawrence became a terrifyingly entertaining character. When his slim build was deemed not threatening enough, he was redesigned and given a better skeletal rig for more advanced animation. There he is. There's the final Sammy. Sammy Lawrence's final form came complete with a bulked up stature and more powerful limbs. The mad songwriter finally gets noticed now, at least by fans. Dang. Look at that. One of the lost ones. And there's Alice. I thought she had a tail. I thought that was a tail right there. So there's Allison. Looking dope. Tom. Very cool. So yeah, there was the beta dead Boris right there. Papa was the original name of the character that eventually became Boris the Wolf. This early version was released with Chapter 1. He was quickly refined into the Boris we know today. With the release of Chapter 2, so there's Boris the Wolf. Boris the Wolf, a friend of the end, was designed using various references from Chocolate! cartoons of the 1920s. Thank you so much for following, whoever that was, uh, subscribing. Oops, did we miss it? Carlos Figueroa, thank you so much for that, I appreciate it. You appeared in the hotel room with Joey Drew. Uh, so yes, a friend of the end, design using that, of the 1920s. A blend of West Coast and East Coast animation styles. This silent and supportive wolf won over the hearts of many, although at times he was a headache for the development team due to his AI taking on a mind of its own during production. And so there's Brute Boris, of course, look at that. Alice Angel's monstrosity, Brute Boris, was one of the biggest surprises of Chapter 4. His design was roughly based on the Frankenstein monster, but with a more unfinished appearance. Alice took parts from within him and substituted things that his body is rapidly rejecting. So yeah, it looks like we got to all the archives, isn't that right? Here, let's see. Henry Stein. Once an equal business partner of Joey Drew, Henry Stein, thank you so much for following, subscribing, that was Wardha Aliar. I appreciate that. Uh, Henry Stein was a talented animator and character designer until leaving the company in around 1930. His place in Joey Drew Studios history is somewhat undocumented, but he is often rumored to be the true creator behind many of the studio's memorable characters. Very cool. Danger keep out. Can we actually go in the keep out area? I think that's it, you guys. We'll just look at the art all up in here. Man, that is crazy. Crazy. There's Pipers, Strikers, and Fishers. Man, look at that. This is awesome art. So, so cool. The ink machine. Totally awesome. All right, you guys, he tells you a lot of stuff, then tells you to visit the old workshop. You head out the door. Interesting. So, yeah, you guys, that was it, man. That looks like it for the archives, it for chapter five. That's going to be the end. And say, yes, standing proud because I stood on this thing. I got an achievement. So anybody that's trying to do an achievement. Oh, hey, here's the original ink machine. Uh, before a major visual upgrade, this version of the ink machine was the one used in the game. Much of this I, a machine's iconic fan love design was translated into the final version. Let's see what these... Oh hey, there's a Bertram head in there. Let's see the Bertram head first. Look at that. It's creepy. And the credits roll. The Butcher Gang, the Piper, Striker, and Fisher make up the Butcher, the dreaded Butcher Gang. Interestingly, the ink-corrupted versions of the characters were designed first, and then were reverse-engineered back into their more family-friendly cartoon forms. See, yep, there they are. Fans of the Butcher Gang will be happy for some stuff coming up in Scribble Knots, of course. But, uh, yeah, you guys, that was amazing, so thank you so much. Uh, War Squirtoys says, oof, did I miss it? Yeah, we just got to the end. And we just read the entire archives right here. So, Bendy and the Ink Machine, she's quite a gal. 
Really, really cool, you guys. So that's gonna be it, it looks like.